Are you in the club? Hey guys, welcome back to DCTC. This is Amy Jo. Are you guys ready to become ooey gooey slime mixologists? On today's episode, we're going to be making slime with a slime factory. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is open our kit and see what is inside. Whoa. It looks like we have a very special ingredient. Slime goo. <laughs> Let's see what else we have in here. So far, this seems like a super awesome science project. <gasps> Whoa! Everything looks so cool. Look at garbled marbles. Those are teeny tiny. Clear spheres. Glitter. Glitter and sequins make everything better. These are probably, oh my goodness, fizzling tablets. Gross insects. We have shaker cups. And what else do we have? We have some bags. Hmm, you guys, this is gonna be so fun. What is this, borax powder? Okay, I'm gonna get the instructions out and we are gonna get mixing. Okay, so I started looking through the instructions and there is a list of everything that comes with the kit and then some things that we're going to need. And these are all basic things that we have around the house. So I've gathered them. We've got Ziploc bags, we've got various containers. And now I think we are ready to start. All right, I can already tell you guys right now that I really like this kit because the bags are reclosable. They have the little um, thing at the top that makes them resealable, which is really nice. Also, this little measuring cup came with it, which is very handy. So we're gonna start by making the cross-link solution. I don't know exactly what that means because I've never made slime before. Well, that's not totally true. Hey, Brandon. I've never made this kind of slime before. If you guys watched <laughs> our prank video, then you know I have some experience with slime. Okay, so we're gonna add one teaspoon of the borax powder to the container that we can close. So I'm gonna add this. And then to that, I'm going to add one cup of hot water. And this, I didn't put this in the microwave, I just let the tap run for a while on hot. So it's not super hot, but it's pretty hot. And then I'm supposed to mix this until the borax powder is dissolved. Once it's dissolved, we put the lid on and then we're all set for step number two. Step number two is easy. You're setting up your slime production line. First, we have our slime goo. Second, we have our additives. And third, our cross-linker solution. This is the cup that we're going to use to mix our slime. The instructions call for our first batch to be basic slime but I'm gonna skip right over that and make sure that our first batch of slime has lots of additives, or at least one additive. Okay, so we're supposed to fill our cup up till the top of the number one with slime goo. Next, we're going to drop in one blue fizzy color tablet. Next, we're going to add one teaspoon of the cross-linker solution that we made. Whoa, I can tell that that totally changed the consistency. Next, we're gonna snap on the lid and then we're gonna shake it up. Before you shake it up, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have the lid pressed down really well. Okay, see how you can tell that it's gotten thicker, right? Here we go. <laughs> How cool! Should we open it? I think it's time. I think it's time to check out our slime. <laughs> Whoa! Cool! 
<laughs> oh, uh-oh. Our blue fizzy tablet did not dissolve all the way. Oh, wow. Ooh, that feels so neat. <laughs> I was trying to think of a way to demonstrate the texture of this, and I would not recommend that you guys do this, but I thought maybe <laughs> I could show you the texture if I put some on Barbie. See how it just... <laughs> It's not super gooey, like it doesn't, well, maybe a little bit. I was gonna say, it doesn't really pour. Oh, poor Barbie. But you know what, I could not do that to Princess Anna. So, see the texture of it? <laughs> Sorry, Barbie. You know what is really cool about this? Watch. I can pick most of it. Uh-oh, maybe not out of her hair. <laughs> oh no, but I have another idea. So I wanna show you guys something else you could do with the slime. Barbie might have to have her hair washed now. It is so neat feeling. It's kind of like jello. Barbie's not amused. Just in case you were worried, it totally washed out. I just used a little bit of soap and water and I combed her hair. Everything is back to normal. Her dress is still wet, but Barbie is a-okay. Hmm, what else could we do with this? What if... <laughs> we made a big puddle and some of our Shopkins friends jumped around in it. It looks like water, doesn't it? <laughs> Look how neat the texture is. All right, so now that we have messed around with our blue slime, let's scoop this up and put this in this little baggie. We can save it, which is pretty cool. And we'll make some more. Time for our second batch of slime. Fill up our mixer cup to the top of the blue little box down at the bottom. I wonder what color we should make this. Let's do this one with a purple fizzy. Trying to help it along by breaking up the tablet a little bit so it'll all dissolve this time. That's a pretty color. This time, let's add some of the clear spheres. I want you to really see the difference. See how liquidy the slime is right now? After we add the next part of it, the crosslinker, there's gonna be a chemical reaction and it's gonna to totally change the consistency. Okay, are you ready? Really watery right now. Here we go. Starting to get thick. Whoa. That is so cool. Okay, I'm gonna put on the lid and shake it up. <laughs> Oh, that feels really neat with those little balls in there. Can you see them? That feels so cool. Um, excuse me? Um, could I touch it, Amy Jo? Oh, sure, of course, Barbie. Okay. Oh, wow. That does feel neat. Oh, oh! Oh, no! <laughs> Barbie, you fell right into my hand. Oh, it's okay. It actually feels really good on my face. Rub it on my arm. Um, okay. <laughs> you guys, Barbie's right. It does feel really cool. It's kind of slimy and smooth. Um, Barbie, you have some in your hair. Oh, okay, um, 
Well, I better go get washed up. Bye. What are you doing? I thought you were gonna go wash up. Oh, uh, I was, but this is so embarrassing. I tripped and fell. Okay guys, let's hurry up and make one more while Barbie's taking a bath. This time, instead of adding dye, let's add some of the colorful sequins and some of the colorful little marbles. Whoa, <laughs> oh goodness, that was a lot. Look at all of that, oh no. <laughs> it's probably gonna look really cool. Okay, very liquidy. Now we're gonna add our crosslinker and that's when the chemical reaction will happen. Still liquidy. Oh, but now it's getting thicker. Let's put our lid on and shake it up. Whoa! <laughs> That's awesome! The texture of this stuff is so neat. I wish you guys could feel it. There, now it's like a big blob. That's pretty cool. It's kind of like a party hat. <laughs> hey, where did it go? Oh no. Barbie, are you serious? Well, you said it looked like a party hat. And I'm going to a party. <laughs> okay, guys, I give up. I hope you enjoyed making slime with me today. I have an idea. I think that Brandon should do this kit, and he should make some slime for some ninja turtles. If you guys think that's a good idea, you can click on the thumbs up button to let me know. And make sure that you leave me a comment and tell me what your favorite slime was. Mine was the clear slime with all the colorful glitter and little marbles. This is Amy Jo with DCTC. Thanks for watching. Another video, that's the end. Come back soon or we'll miss you, friend. DCTC. We do toy reviews. DCTC. And we play with Play-Doh, too. Skits, pranks, eggs and toys. We make videos for girls and boys. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's right. <laughs>